Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I figured out what our technical issues were last episode. So, when the game crashed, and I deleted the, um, the Shogo mod, it actually corrupted the save file. Because when we discovered Shogo Industries and completed that quest, it did bump us up a level. When I deleted the mod, it got rid of that quest and got rid of that quest progress, so it couldn't keep me at level 2, thus making a conflict within the files. Um, so I had to go back and start back from before I downloaded that mod. But we are back again, um, and we are ready to talk to the town mom. So let's get right into it. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over... One second. Hold that thought. Hold that thought, buddy. Hold that thought for just a second. Mm. But soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? Is that right? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy ahead, something, try. get out. What do you want? Got a problem here? Oh. Yeah, that's right. You better do that. Let's go ahead and quick save. Don't even joke like that. <laughs> okay. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Um, I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Uh, I heard your argument. What was what, you want to tell me what that asshole was about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Oh yeah. About a week ago, this trader Ringo comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Okay. Where's Ringo now? Is he hiding out in town? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Well, that was a smart idea, wasn't it? So why don't you just kill that asshole and wash your hands of them? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Obviously, you don't care about your guys' lives. So, I mean, are, are you going to... Are you going to get turned in, Ringo? What, what's going Some on? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? What the fuck is that? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Let's give all these inmates a bunch of dynamite and see what happens. They should work. Right. What happens if I help the guy hiding up at the gas station? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Okay. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Mm, so I help Ringo and Good Springs like me? What happens if I help out the assholes on the other side? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Understandable. Um, so who's the asshole that was you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Okay. Well, um... I'm trying to track down the asshole that shot me in the face. You know anything? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Uh, did, did they say where they were going at all? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Excuse me. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. 
Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Mm. So... I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Oh. The fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Um... Well, I mean, I'm already here. You want me to take a look at your radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Okay. You know anything about you, you know anything about Victor? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. What does he do though? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Sometimes you don't like him much. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit. Um, how long has he been around? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. It had an owner? Uh, never, mind. never mind. Fine by me. Um, I'll be back. Be careful out there. Let's see here. Radio. Prospector Saloon Radio. An examination of the radio's internal components reveals that several parts and connections were put, popped loose when the radio hit the floor. It should be fairly simple to repair a job to get it working again. Repair the radio. Hey, look. It's on. It's working again. Feeling thirsty? I fixed your radio for you. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Woo! Thanks for the caps. You're welcome. Uh, show me what you got for sale. Got a special. Uh, so you mostly got just food and shit. Okay, exit. Alrighty, so let's go talk to Ringo. What do we do with the workbench right now? Baseball into ammo. Huh? To what? Baseball ammo. What is... What is that? Baseball ammo. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess I need to go to a... Yeah, I got no idea what that was supposed to do. Um, okay then. Uh, da, da, da. Let's go talk to Ringo. I love how as soon as I quick saved it, she was like, don't you think about it, that's not funny. And I'm just sitting here like, rah. Is that maybe one of the mods I downloaded to make them know when you quick save? That's close enough. Who are you? And what you do best you want watch who you're pointing that gun at, friend. Dang. Dude, I ain't your enemy if that's what you want to know. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of... Um, I'm good. Look, you know there this asshole out here looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way... Uh, so what are you gonna do about him? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Uh, I mean, I could help you. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now. Um, I mean, I could ask around. See, you start like around with up. sunny smiles. 
She's been friendlier than most around here. Cool. Let's do it. Um, but first, I'm gonna I'm gonna test something because the barkeep kind of responded as soon as I quick saved. I want to know if, if he does. Let's just stop that. <laughs> okay, so they know when I quick save. That is hilarious, and I love it. Yet another mod at work. Okay. That's great. That's just absolutely fantastic. Let's take good sunset sarsaparillas. What do we got in here? I'll take that 556 five, ammo and that is nine mil casings. Brass! You're just leaving all this brass lying around, man. That's money here lying in there. Uh, bottle caps. Not that I need them, but I'm taking them anyway. Okay. Come on, storyteller! Tally ho! Go talk to Sunny Smiles. Let her know we need help. However, first, I am on a mission now. My best bet's gonna be the Z10 mil. Hello, asshole. Hello, asshole. Don't mind me. I'm just going to walk around. This here check on the other side. Yes, yes, don't mind me, please. No, no, look the other way. I said to look the other. Okay, fine. You know what? That's cool. Yes, that's it, Clarice. Do not pay attention to little old me. You don't talk to Mama the way you talk to Mama. Mama not happy. Nobody. I don't have any explosives. Mama not happy, nobody happy, and you talk to mama like shit, so I end you for talking to mama like that. Woo! Powder gangers hate me. Good riddance. Good freaking riddance. My neighbors must hate me right now. It is 11.30 at night, and I am over in my office screaming, I'm sorry. Okay. So, we did that. I just wanted to kill that asshole for being an asshole. What do you think? Do you think that was a bad idea, storyteller? What's your story? Well, you know my story, apparently, before I even know it. Um, Bye. I don't like how there's no option to, like, ask him, what do you think about what's currently going on, or anything? Or what his stance is with the different factions. Like, I don't know you, storyteller. Hey there. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. No, he was an asshole. I didn't like him. Uh, I'm gonna help Ringo. You wanna... You, you in? Say no more. I'm in. Cool. Um, uh, That was easy. Even though Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo... We aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I can get more people. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. Yeah, yeah. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Okay. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Yep, I got it. Um... Let's do this. I'll be Talk to everybody in town. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Yep. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Look, you should help us. Now. I'll 
Look, you should you should help us. It it could be fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. Woo! I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Yep. Uh, let's head over there next. Cool. I'll be back. Yo, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I hear you have a stock of dynamite. We might need it for this game. Too dangerous. Wanna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. I'm somewhat of an expert with explosives, including dynamite. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Cool. Thank you. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around Ooh. some of the abandoned places Ooh, around here. Like the schoolhouse. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, uh, talk to Chet. Let's talk to Chet and Good Springs General Store so we can get us some armor. You looking to buy some supplies? So I need your shit to fight the guys coming in. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Um, you let them take over, your your business is going to crash. Do you want that? You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. There you and, go. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Uh, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. You got anything new for sale? I could really use some new equipment. And miscellaneous. So I'll go ahead and take that. Soft hands. What else do you got? Nothing much else, huh? I'll take those 20 gauge ammo rounds. Alright. Another satisfying I'll see you later, Chet. Be ready. Edna. Edna, I need you to. I, 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 Edna, I need you to get out of the way. You're in front of the door. Thank you, Edna. Uh, I was can I'm uh, pretty sure I already went through all that. Wonder if that's like a border point. Hey, you step out this far, you can have the option to do, do this every time you step out that far. Doc! Oh, Doc Mitchell! Father! Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. Um, so the town's gonna be attacked by assholes. Is there anything you can help us with? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never well, leave I mean, each other alone. It, it's the wasteland, dude. I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg and my supply. They'll be using explosives. Do you have something more for more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Cool. Good man. Okay. Um. Goodbye. You take care. Um, Doc, just stay in here. Don't don't get yourself killed. So it's gonna do that every single time I step anywhere near Doc Mitchell's. Good to know. Alright, Ringo. I rounded up the town, folks. We are good. So what's to going go. on? Sonny's with us. Well I guess that means we're ready to go. Let's do this. Alright. Let's I'm get ready. this done with. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. <laughs> How many are there? At least six. They look pretty mean. Let's give them hell. Oh, Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Oh, they won't. <laughs> they. <laughs> Trust me. They won't. 
Do do do. Just gonna set up over here in the road, in the open, in the open. You guys just stay back. I got this. Boom. Hey, idolize, idolize and good springs. Good springs loves us. Time to search. Okay, hey, hey. All right, what's next? Uh, next up, we're gonna go with confirm bachelor so we can flirt with men. Or better yet, uh, make them lower their guard so we can kill them easier. Cause that's what I'm really going for. Also do extra damage to assholes like this. Because there are, for some reason, no women within the, uh... There are no women within the powder game, which is a little weird, but, you know... I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand. Thanks, um... I mean, it, it, I'll stick it's around my for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Cool. Cool. Okay, there you are. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. Thank NCR you. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay, cool. Um, see you around. Until next time. Hey there. What are you doing in here, dude? Whatever. Come out. Alright, now to make our way south. So we got the nine mil, nine mil submachine gun, three fifty seven, ten mil. I am a very avid collector of firearms when it comes to this game, so I'm probably gonna be picking up every single weapon we come by. Uh let's equip the ten mil because I prefer to have this equipped right now because it's a little bit easier on ammo. And jumpy, and a jumpy, and a jumpy, and a jumpy. I can see my body now. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Right on the road. There's a bridge out here. What's this? Ah, yes, Indiana Jones reference, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, the whole myth that if you get into a fridge in a nuclear blast, so you can survive, it's not true. I'm pretty sure you'd have more of a higher chance of dying within a fridge all the same. Maybe not getting burned to a crisp, but if the fridge gets launched, you're definitely breaking your neck inside the fridge. Gene Prim, Las Vegas. Vegas? Is that way? But I was also told that if we go that way, we're probably gonna die. Oh, I see red lips.
Dang. I don't deal with criminals. CR money, 20 gauge ammo, bottle caps. Yeah, a single shot shotgun. Not a fan. Okay. Good. Great. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that. It's an accident, I swear. You've lost karma. I don't care. They're 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 criminals. They they steal from others, so I steal from them. Gene skydiving. Hello, Gene skydiving. A sunset star bottle cap. Thank you. Lockers, lockers, dynamite. Bunch of supplies. Cool, thank you very much. Edna, girl, why you gotta always be in the worst possible spot? Sort of there we go. Alright, this way. I see a fire, which means there's probably a camp up ahead. What's over here? Cabinets. Five, five, six ammo. Thank you. Do do do. Nope. Do do do. More assholes. Yep. Yep. Nope. We ain't doing this. I don't see. You. Oh shit! No, oh, mine! Ah! You know, in that back when time, there used to be these great big animals called hippos. They had long trunks, and people hunted them for their tusks. Cool. I wish. Why aren't you actually got a story to tell? Speaking though, why am I seeing the text line, but not you're not bye -bye. speaking? He had a Makarov. That's definitely not vanilla to the game. Shit. Yeah, no, no kidding, buddy. You just kind of walked right into that, didn't you? A Makarov, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll definitely use that. Good for executing prisoners of war. Not so much in long range combat, but I'll make it work. As terrible as it sounds, it's true. That's what the Makarov was used for. Excuse me. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. New gun. Keep on moving with my new gun. New gun. New gun. Oh, that's prim. I see the roller coaster. Turn night off quick. Um, a little bit longer. Oh, hey! Shut up! God, that's loud. Storyteller, what are you doing using a knife, dude? Why ain't you using a gun? Storyteller. You can't be serious. As no, I'm not. To be. Why are you still using a combat knife? Do not tell me I have to. to carry your burdens. Why are you... Oh, that's why you ain't got no ammo. Uh. I should not have to supply you with ammo, my dude. Alright, fine. 
I've only got energy cells, so you're gonna have to stick with the laser pistol. I, that that's all I got, my dude. You you done you done screwed yourself. I mean, I don't, I don't know what. You, uh, don't don't look at me like that. Do not look at me like that. I will shoot you. Ugh. I have discovered the power of quick saving. What is... What are you? Oh, ah, what the... Little demon. A gecko hunter. Why? Little asshole. I'm over here looking at it like it reminds me of a... Oh, am I poisoned? I am poisoned. That's great. Do I have anti-venom? I do. Wow. Okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. Watch out for those. Hello, Prim. How are you today? You look lovely. The New California Republic. Oh, I hope I'm not the only who thinks California's shithole. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Uh, freedom of travel, bitch. What do you want? What's going on here? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Yeah, not my forte, bud. Uh, I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. Yeah, it is my ass, so don't worry about it. Shit. Where the hell are you going? Um, I'm traveling deal with it. And just because you said that, you said, hey, you're gonna die. Now I'm gonna go into town specifically to show you that I'm not gonna die. Welcome back, children. I to love hearing Zoo Dog again. Radio, the heart and soul Three of the About wow. Let's just disarm that. I'm not going to pick it up, but I am going to disarm it. And we're just going to sneak on into town, and I'm going to shoot up the place. Because it's full of asshole convicts who don't give a shit about nobody else's life except for their own. And I don't roll like that. If you're an asshole, I'm going to make sure you don't belong in this world. Nice. And... Nice. Great shot placement. What do you got? Smith and Wesson Model 10. Okay. A revolver. Very nice looking revolver at that. What do you have? A PB6P9. Ah! I gotta stop doing that. Okay, so PB6P9. Ah, yes, it is the Makarov that was turned into an integrally, integrally suppressed Makarov that is probably still loud as shit because it doesn't look like it's that effective. Smith & Wesson Model 10. It is a Western revolver. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Yeah, no shit. Um, look, man, can you... Number one, don't ambush me in the door, please. Drives me nuts. Second of all, who the hell are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. 
I'm a courier with the Mojave Express, it just so happens, and I got shot. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry. No, 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 you misunderstand. I'm tracking them down. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery? What can you tell me about this shit? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Some men stole the package. A man had checkered suit and some thugs. You see them? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those guys, one of those assholes shot me in the face. I need to know how to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beaver. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. All right, thanks. Let's talk about I... something else. Um, you got anything for sale? Sure, have a look. Cool. All right, weapons, ammo, supplies. I need all of it. Here, what do we got here? 10 millimeter bladed gauntlet, service rifle, silence 22 armor rifle. Uh, I might need the silence 22 here in a bit. Stimpax. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the silence 22. I ain't got no suppressed weapons yet. Ammo box. Nothing good. 22 long rifle, 22 long rifle hollow point. Let's go ahead and get all of the ammo that he has to offer. Because I am a hoarder of everything. Another satisfied customer. I wouldn't say that, but you know, whatever. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, you look interesting. Crim Slim. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino. Woo, my kind of guy. Yo, who are Vicky and Vance? Where are you playing, partner? Hiding under a rock? Oh, yeah, Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story. Uh, I guess. Yahoo! I first things first. Any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance? Yeah, no, 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 no. You Her. done lost me. What? Talking about Vicky Mance's gun. Uh, there's an issue. The gun's gone. Uh, yo, robot. Howdy, partner. Welcome dude, to the, the gun is gone, dude. Just mows you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. No. I piss that gun. Mint condition. Never fire. You're not listening to me. It's gone. Scan your freaking data registry, dude. You've been hacked. Look at that. I happened across this data file locked away in an isolated subsystem. Oh, Lord. Robots. Ah. Edna. Where, where, where's Edna? Edna, please don't ever be like this dumbass over here, please. You're too good for that. Yeah. Alright. Um, Edna... Edna, storyteller, I'm gonna need y'all to it, wait. I'm, I'm gonna need you guys to wait here for now. Because something tells me I'm gonna need to be stealthy about this. If our dude was slinking around the bison Steve and that's where they were all hiding. Good, good chance um, we could be having an issue here. Daniel Wyan. Oh, cool. He was another Mojave Express courier. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the outside first. That way we can have the town cleared out. I'm gonna climb up here for the hell of it. Ah! Ah! Now I'm falling. Hey, let me up. Oh, I know I can get up here. Come on. There we go. Uh, 
Oh, there's a guy all the way over there. I'm over here trying to snipe him with a freaking handgun. Okay, well, that's not working out too well, is it? There we go. Got him. Oh, and he fell. That's, that's fantastic. It looks like I'm going to have to drop down that way anyway. Both of these directions go absolutely nowhere. Hey, I can go up that way, though. Gun. Burner weapon. And of course, you wouldn't have anything interesting on him. I'm only interested in the non vidnita guns. Oh, God. <coughs> Ooh, that hurt. That really hurt. All right, where'd your body drop? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give what do you got? Ammo? I'll take that. Yeah, I don't care about your cleaver, dude. Um. Repair. Repair. Well, at least it does a decent amount. Switch over to the Makarov, though. Because Makarov, he is Soviet engineering. This is quite literally one of the simplest handguns ever constructed. If you don't know anything about the Makarov, I suggest going and watching uh, Brandon Herrera's Makarov Breakdown. Because he, he breaks it down like it's stupid simple. And it's actually quite interesting how the Soviets engineer their weapons. Especially a gun like this. Boom! Looks like you got a varmint rifle too. Yep, another varmint rifle. That's fine though. Alright. I am not going in this way. They would expect me to go in this way. I'm gonna go in through the front. Some tells me I'm gonna need this. Since it is the only suppressed weapon I've got. And we're gonna just go ahead and quick save here in case we fail. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a stealth player right now. Taking a nap. I didn't realize I was using a tranquilizer gun. Dude, he just taking a nap in the chair. Oh no. And boop. Oh shit. There we go. I was hoping that would kill him, but it didn't. Hey, look, he got another uh, one of those integrity suppressed macro. Ah! Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. What do you got? A GSH-18. Cool. More new weapons. I can't rightly appreciate any of these at the moment. So, we're just gonna have to wait till we're done here and we'll go through and, uh, admire all these new weapons we're getting so first of all we're gonna go in here because I know for a fact that there is a legendary in here and I have the lockpick lock pick skill to get to it I shouldn't this early on but I do I mean, you can this early on if you, like, do a bunch of excessive stuff and you just invest all of your points in a lockpick. 
but then you don't leave yourself much room for much else. We got a legendary 357 revolver. We're gonna go ahead. I'm not going that. Ooh, I might have to take care of this dude though. Stop moving. Don't move a muscle. I swear to God, if this stealth boy fails right now, I'm gonna be very shitty. the wall or something. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Woo, and the stealth boy wore off. The worst possible moment. It's a good thing I took him out when I did. Take all of his weapons and explosives. Thank you very much, good sir. I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. get that so we can reload our guns faster hey look at that deputy beagle he's alive Y'all ain't killing the deputy on my watch. Yes, H18 time. What is this hot garbage? What in the world in another Russian Kalashnikov's name is this handgun? Oh man, here we go. All right, so 38 special. He had another Smith and Wesson Model 10 on him. Thank you for the Model 10. He had an incinerator. He also had a... Alright. And what about you? You had a regular nut. Browning high power. Cool. And you had a Colt Pocket 1849. Very nice. I'm loving the variety of guns that these mods give you. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Um, you must be Deputy Beagle. And by the looks of it, you're very, very terrible at your job. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure ah. to meet you. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Yeah. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. You just confirmed you were terrible at your job, so of course you're in a predicament. Look, I hear you have information on these guys that shot me. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can tell me, or I can just leave it here. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. You won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. Dude, with all due respect, I don't need you to protect me. I just took out an entire room of guys and kept you alive. You would be so very delighted. Yeah, well, how, how'd you get into this situation, dude? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. 
The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. All right, I feel bad for you. I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. Uh, sure, run away. You don't look like you'd be much help to me anyway. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. Yep, yep, yep. Keep running your mouth. Get Just get out. Bye. See ya. Goodbye. However, I am going to pickpocket you. Never mind, you got a browning high power. I don't want that piece of garbage. Hey. Yeah, he died in a bad position. Alright, so. Um, I'm going to switch to something that's got a little bit more oomph to it. Screw it. Yeah. What was... What? Okay. Woo! Yee, buddy. What do you got? Another GSH-18. I will take it. I will take it in a heart beat. Dresser. Uh, a bunch of stuff I don't need. There's nothing I need in here. Who's there? Yo, mama. <laughs> boom, boom. I'll take your Makarov happily. And your dynamite. Clearing the floor one asshole at a time. Yeah, nice try, dude. What did you have? You had another macro. Thank you. Thank you very much. Suitcase. Nothing in the dresser. Nothing in the desk. That looks like a door to the outside. Any age ammo. Ransom note. That looks like it's uh, pointless. Uh, 3v7 revolver, ammo, and. Ammo casings, I'll take that. I don't really craft a lot of my own ammo in this game, however, it's always handy in case you need it. Especially if you invest into primers, powder, and lead. It can come in handy quite a bit. That's a lot of chems. That is a lot of chems. I am good. I do not want that hepatitis. Drugs are bad. Okay, kids. Oh. Nope. Nope. Oh. Ain't doing it. Nope. Y'all can't have me. My flesh stays where it's at on my skin. Bow cap. Bow cap. Bow cap. Dynamite. Bow cap. Thank you. Haven't quite cleared the place out yet, but I'm gonna get there. 
One convict at a time. One convict at a time. One convict at a time. They all gonna die. Take all that. Hello? Little Jimmy, I have a present for you. Just come out of hiding. Oh. Dude. Shh. You just made this way to shit. Shit, 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 shit. No! 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 Oh, I just wanted to put some dynamite in his pocket. Ooh, gun cabinet. Gun cabinet? Come on. Come on. Oh, I said, come on. Quit being stubborn. There we go. 10 mil pistols and ammo. Cool. What's. What do you have? 10 mil rounds. Bottle cap. Bobby pin. Dynamite. Oh, man. He had a gyro jet. He had. He had a gyro jet, dude. Oh man. <sighs> he had a freaking rocket gun. A rocket gun that is loaded with stripper clips. All that smoke? Yeah, that's that's mini rocket fuel being blasted in front of you. It, it's it's a waste of money. I hate it. I really hate it. But I guess that's what's in the mod. However, I don't understand how it shoots 10 millimeter, but it's a gun of its own, and it shoots. 10 millimeter and not the gyrojet rocket ammo that it's supposed to have. Alright. How are you? Alright, storyteller, we're all good. Follow me. Right behind you. Town is clear. We saved everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Yo, Nash. Hey, youngster. Um. Okay. But who in the world can I talk to? I'm pretty sure that uh, Buddy said he was going to be in there. Or maybe I was wrong. Maybe he went back into the sheriff's office. Open door to Nash residence. And, uh, don't get jealous. How? You're special in your own way. Stare oh, as you, you seem to have rolled off the same assembly line. <laughs> oh, he's talking about Edie. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Run the repair. Let's repair Edie. I don't think Edna's going to be happy, but, you know, Edna can live with it. Edie. Companion Pro Call begin. We got another companion. Cool. Log off. Can I ask you something? Uh, how much could I? I'm not gonna be a dick like that. Come on. Confuse me. Oh, uh, hey, never mind. Good robot. Bye. Let's go, Edie. We got our storyteller, our two robot companions. We're rolling. We're rolling now. Um, we need to find Deputy Beagle. The only place I could assume that he's at is either in here or over there. Um, I don't 
see Deputy Beagle here. So we're just gonna see what he's got. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff I don't want. Alright, well, that was boring. Uh, I guess... Come on, open the door. I guess we'll just run on over here then. Oh man, I get tired. It might be time to go to bed. That didn't sound pleasant. I'm not gonna look. Nope, nope, nope. Next thing I know, I'm gonna have Pennywise jumping out at me. People's heads are just exploding randomly, and I don't like it. I just don't like it. I'll take all the deputies and all the sheriff's ammo. Oh, that's just that's just messed up. <sighs> I wish we could have gotten here sooner. Fought them off. Deputy Beagle is a tip shit. Edna, girl, I need you out of the way so I can leave. Out of the way. Where did Beagle go? Oh, I think he's still trapped in the bison, Steve. <sighs> that might not be good. I don't believe we didn't miss nobody. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm still very tired. Yep, he, he trapped himself behind a door. Well, that was quite an adventure. We break oh, yes, myself we. out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite... Problem uh, is, there's still no law... Yeah, you know what? I don't even want to hear him talk. Yep, yep. I don't want to hear him talk. Look. What are qualifications? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who... I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience. Also, with the... I'll bring the law back, but I can't make any promises. The sheriff that was incarcerated up, you also. Yeah, we're just gonna say nope to all that. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next? I'm looking. I do think. What about Prim Slim? Well, I reckon he could be a sheriff if you. Oh, I do. I got full skills. Doo -doo -doo. We're just gonna go pay a visit over to the Bison Steve real quick. I am not trying to do any extra running around right now. I am tired. Hey there. Is that Deputy Beagle that just said that? Somebody's audio cues are all messed up. Big Yelan's Casino. Howdy, partner. Any luck? Nope, haven't found it. Uh, reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim Sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeehaw! Cool. Brought the law back. Alright. Perk time, perk time, perk time, perk time. Let's go with, uh... With run and gun. That way we can aim a little bit better if we're running and shooting. Howdy. You got that old robot up and running again? Uh, yeah. What a bit. What a bit. Let me see what you got. You got anything else? You got anything new? <sighs> Homemade SMG bullets. Why not? Excuse me. 
miscellaneous. Go ahead and get all of your ammo. Again. I know it's a little bit overboard, guys, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially with all these guns we're gonna be getting. We're gonna need the ammo. Right. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't really care. All right, so we're gonna end this episode here. We saved Prim. We beat the convicts. We saved Good Springs. So, I mean, we're uh, we're getting somewhere. We got some information on the people who killed us. So our next stop is Novak. I'm sure we're gonna have some stops along the way, but until then, you guys know the drill. If you like the video, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and as always, Howdy. have a good one.